we have another unboxing. Uh, hopefully the yard work outside is not too distracting. Uh, first, I'm going to open this up. Uh, this was a trade that I did with Ring of Shameful, uh, who I gave my Bermuda for. Uh, oh, that's cute, a microfiber cloth. Oh, that's less cute. It's taped. Oh, God. I hope this microfiber cloth is still usable. Well, this is nice, because, uh, you know, I needed another one. Oh, my God. Why? Alex, why? Alex, why? Why would you do this? Why would you tape the microfiber cloth? That's, like, that's not a good thing to tape. You could have wrapped it first in paper towel. Alex! What were you thinking? Ugh. Ugh. Okay. It's a Tay Flipper in trans colors. Okay, the Tay Flipper uh, is the predecessor to the Calico, which I'm, I'm going to make a second uh, plastic battle song review, uh, but it's a little bit of schmutz. Uh, the Tay Flipper is... I think the biggest difference is the Tay Flipper is sandwich and the calico is channel i believe that's like the biggest difference ah oh, great and also tay is is gonna do another run of calicos so maybe i can get a uh, a lesbian color one. Ooh, this is fun this is fun okay um i know the calico also has a fourth ball up top uh which might account for um better blading it can that's the bite side. <laughs> I was like, why does that hurt? Okay, blue is safe, pink is, is uh, so uh, blue is, is like rounded and pink is like concave. It's very subtle. And if you don't know it, like, I'm like, why does that feel so bad to Chaplin? Oh, cause it's the bite marker. That's a very cool and subtle way of doing it. And now I finally have a trans battle song. I kept meaning to get one for a while. This flips pretty nice. It's like smooth and flowy. I'll have to compare this to the Chroma later. Um, all right. Next, we have a trade from Majoralis. Um, this is, Rallis is a professional, so he packs his shit like a tank. Uh, featuring the Static Knives Icarus as my box opener. I already know what this is. I traded my Prince Customs SYN for this, uh, and I'm excited to try this. So, if I, yeah, you know what? I might just destroy this box. I was like trying to do this nice and neat, but I mean, I, I'd still rather would do this nice and neat. How the fuck does I gotta open this from the wrong side? Whatever. All right, let's screw it. I'm just gonna cut right through this. I like to like save boxes just in case, but sometimes a box just doesn't make any fucking sense. And yeah, I think I think the sticker threw me off because I think I opened it from the wrong side. Whoops. Er, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I, I would still like to maintain the sanctity of this box. What the? I don't even understand how this, like, folds. Um, on the bright side, though, I know that this, this package is, like, nice and secure, um, because there's, like, a, there's straight-up discourse about how to pack your fucking ballast songs when you mail shit, because uh, some people just, like, put it loose in a, in a, in a bag with no packaging and like no bubble wrap, nothing. And it's like, mm, <laughs> you could you could do better. You can and you should do better. Uh, thankfully, uh, Major Rouse is good on that. Uh, I've done business with him before. I bought a couple balcons from him. I think he was proxy selling. All right, here we have. Wow, this this is secure. It, it also had even more foam on top, just to be even more 
safe, so. Nice, nice. Comes in a haze tack bag, but it is not a haze tack knife. If this is Corbin Lovins's custom Strix. Uh, and now I can use this new microfiber cloth to like clean off the blade. Uh, Rallis, this is number 23 of Lovins Customs Strix. Corbin Lovins is the guy in the Wired video, Mr. Wired. Um, Corbin, I would have guessed that you would have done jimping. That shocks me. I'm so sorry about this yard work, if you can hear it. Um, let's see. Uh, I was told... Oh, I th maybe it's Rouse who, who changed it, because I was told that he replaced stock... Whoa, what the fuck? These spacers have, like, washers in them. That's crazy. I was like, oh, there's, like, there's some gas. I'm going to try and tighten it. Uh, and he just replaced, like, the hardware, too, so... I should probably not fuck around with the, the tune too much. Um, but I, I, I felt like, I was like, oh, why is this so loose already? It's not loose, it's just... Hmm. The blade profile is like the spear point. It's like fine. Um, these handles are really nice though. Um, there's, I know, I think it's supposed to be like his name in like Morse code. Uh, I don't know if you count the screws, but like there's dashes, dots, dash, dot, more dots. Um, there's a video I think of um, Will Hirsch interviewing Corbin. This is, this has some nice weight to it. I'm like getting used to this. I was, I was like, hmm. Okay, there's good handle swing. Why am I struggling with the... Huh. This is alright. I don't know if I'm in love with this. It's got really nice, comfortable handles. It's very, it's aesthetically pleasing to look at. Um, but I'm not like, I don't know, it's like, it's pretty good. I believe this knife, like, it's handmade. So I feel like I should like it more. It's, if it's a handmade knife, Customs 23, and it's, I don't know, I feel like the blade hurts, like, this huge this huge gap for the pivots uh for sorry for the zen pins uh that part's not crowned and i end up like when you chaplain it like kind of like not like pinches but like this not crown section it almost feels like a bite indicator and i go uh oh uh, except it's not it's just so I'm, i don't know it's it only happens sometimes because the, the back of the blade is quite crowned. It's it's very, very thick. Um, it's very, very thick spine. Uh, I guess, you know, comparison, it's, uh, there's the Icarus. And here's the, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it's definitely like a couple uh, unit wider. I'm like eighth of an inch. Uh, there's also very, very, very prominent Zen nipple. Um, I'm trying to see if, if I'll feel this if I do whip rollovers. Yeah, I feel it if I do whip rollovers. It's like, fine. It doesn't hurt. It's just kind of not super comfortable. Like, I'm just comparing it to the Icarus because, and this is just a first impression. Like, I literally unboxed this knife, so I'm like, Maybe I like this knife over time, but I'm not sure. I traded the Prince Customs for it, and I figured if I don't like this, I can try and trade this for, uh, oh, I don't know. I really want to try the Serve. Notion Flip Serve looks so good. So I might try and be able to trade for one of those, since this, like, retails. It's a handmade knife retailing for, like, 600 
Um, the Prince Customs retailed for like seven fifty or something, but uh, a lot of people said that the resale value was like maybe not as good. I don't know. It like it again. The handles feel really nice. I think how I feel about things. It's the Zen nipple being very very tall. Like this. This is so tall, and it's not like very round either. Like I've seen tall Zen nipples that are like pointed this way, and so. Like, doing whip rollovers feels fine. Um, and uh, I've heard some people have criticisms of, not Lovins specifically, but just Flippers Gone Knife Maker. Because um, Corbin is a flipper first and a knife maker second. Uh, even with no jimping, these spacers are actually very grippy. And it's sandwiched, so it's like not the end of the world, but still, it's just like, you know, if you're making a hand grind six hundred dollar knife, I'm a little surprised there's no jimping. Hmm, I don't know. This knife is kind of eluding me in certain ways. Fan's nice, definitely. Fan's really nice. Um, the balance, I want to say, is neutral. Feels quite neutral. So it does fan really good. Oh yeah, it actually fans really good. So that's what this knife has going for it. It fans really well. Now as for rollovers. I'm sorry, this box is kind of in the way. That's for these are shorts, not boxers. Rolls over nicely, I guess. Because it's neutral, it's like... It's, it's got... It's like not too heavy. I want to say this is around 4 ounces. Um, because it's neutral, it rolls over... I mean, it rolls over like a neutral knife, but with a bit of weight to it. It's not like super light. It's definitely heavier than the Cygnus. It's longer too, I think. <sighs> yeah, my biggest complaints is Chaplin's. Because chaplains have the potential to feel really good. It's just that the Zen groove, I don't know what that calls, uh, what, what's that called, but the Zen groove is not crowned. And so it feels really rough because the huge, thick spine feels really nice. Uh, the spine feels really nice. How sharp is this also? This is actually not sharp at all. Actually, this is really really not sharp and that's fine i don't i don't need knives to be sharp it's actually it looks it's it's pointy it's pointy but it the the edge is not that sharp so thankfully i don't have to worry about getting cut when uh when trying tricks i don't know i'm i feel like my feelings towards this knife is it's all right. It fans really well. It really does. But wow, I'm little butterfingeries. If I do botch a trick, it's gonna be on an aerial, and I'm gonna poke my hand. I don't know. The Prince was like a really weird flipper. It really, really was, and I was really excited for the trick, uh, for the Strix. But, uh, I don't think I'm going to keep this. I don't know. Maybe I've just become pickier with my balance on it because I've tried more and more and more things. But, I don't know. I'm going to... I'm going to see if I can... I don't think the serve is in production yet, but... That's a knife in, in a similar price range that I, I, I do want. So, hopefully I can trade for one. Um... And, or sell this? I don't know. I really want a Zyzix, but I'm also spending way too much money. So speaking of which, uh, in the description of this video is my coffee page. Uh, yeah, I am buying too many knives. Uh, so if you want to support this channel, uh, check out my coffee. And I, uh, 
a little bit of money. It's just like, it's honestly just a little bit. It's only like three bucks. Uh, and it helps do really basic stuff like cover shipping or buy hardware or groceries. <laughs> um, so, Jesus Christ. Uh, it's not even a slippery knife. I'm just bad. Yeah. Uh, I like legitimately sometimes when I do a chaplain, I, I go, that was really rough feeling. Did I do bite side by accident? And it's like, no, it's just a groove. So. Yeah, that whip roll over just, I, I don't know. That, that one is just me being bad. So yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think I really have much else to say. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and, and get more used to this knife, but I also might just list it and see how... Hmm. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. I do daily uploads. Check out my other videos. Um, I mentioned the Prince Customs, which should be coming out before this video. I, uh, I have a video on the Icarus ad already. Uh, I already have a video on plastic battle songs, and I'll make a part two, including the tape flipper, the chroma. Uh, eventually, if I get a calico. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I hope you have a good flipping experience, and everybody have a nice day. Happy flipping.